Welcome back to I Hauled It But Did I Like It. I, I wonder how many I've done of these. We have done a lot of I Hauled It But Did I Like It. We have done a lot. So let's get into this one. This is going to be probably a quicker one just because I'm going to review five products that are quite small, but I have so much to say about them. So if you guys are interested, keep watching. Let's talk a little bit of skincare because when it comes to I hauled it but did I like it, I really don't do a lot of skincare. So I want to talk because, I mean, I am a skincare queen. I want to talk about some skincare. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Skin Ink. And this I got in my Ipsy swag bag. We're still talking about products from that. And what are you called? The Pure Deep Sea Hydrating Mask. This can be used as just like a quick, you know, mask to put on your face or you can actually sleep in it. I only use it as a sleeping mask. I absolutely love this. Now, I think that I've talked about the Skin Ink Peel. I had a little sample of that, and it was amazing. Like, one of the best peels I have ever used. This, though, is on a whole other level. Now, this is so cooling to the touch. It's just literally, like, it looks like water, only it's a gel. It's more of a gel. You don't get very much in here. It doesn't even really tell you, I don't think. Let's see if I can see how much you actually get in here. It's made in Japan. You get one fluid ounce. Um, I will pop up the price for you guys of what this is. But you put it on. I cleanse my face. It's usually after I get out of the shower. I put this on my face at night. And it sinks right in. And it, when it dries, it doesn't even feel like there's anything on your face. And I'm just like, okay, I can work with that. Because I don't like night masks that you feel like you're going to lay on the pillow. And it's just going to smear everywhere. You know, like you're going to get this shit everywhere. It doesn't feel like that. And when I wake up, I immediately go and wash it off, if I remember. And it's just smooth. So, so smooth. It doesn't cause me to break out. It just really helps my face stay hydrated without being oily, just smooth things out. It's just clearer and brighter. And I love this so much. So it's it's something that I probably will not be able to afford to repurchase, but I really, for the most part, want to open you guys up to Skin Ink. Like, you guys should really check them out and check out their stuff. I know that after Ipsy, a lot of people have been talking about them because a lot of their products are new to us. This is finally just starting to get around YouTube. They're starting to sponsor people, I mean, etc., etc., but they are worth it. This is something that I would say, sponsored or not, believe the hype because I've tried some of the products and they are so good. They're so worth it. And I absolutely love this. If you guys get a chance to try that peel or try this hydrating mask, either or, they're the only ones I can actually talk for that I have tried, but I love this so much, so much. Now the next thing is actually another brand that I have raved about. I use their pore filler and that is Dr. Brandt. I got, and I'm not sure where I got this. It must have been an order or something. It's just like a little sample. And this is their Look Fabulous Not Frozen Needles No More. Now, you guys know that my pore filler that I use is the Pores No More from Dr. Brand. I absolutely love that. I don't use another pore filler, bottom line. So when I got this, I was super excited to try it out. Now, this is a lot like Botox without the needles. Now, what it says is it instantly smooths your expression lines and it relaxes your wrinkles. It's got a tri-blend into it. So this is like Botox for real. And I tried it on my forehead wrinkles because that's my expression lines like this. That is what I get a lot of. And then when I relax my face, those wrinkles are still there because let's face it, I'm up there. I'm headed up that hill, you guys. Things are not starting to like, things are starting to go kind of crazy. So it's just an instant wrinkle relaxing cream and I do have pictures but I warn you they are yellow and they are shady as all hell. I was trying so hard to do this at nighttime a while ago because I knew I wanted to review this and I was, it was like my third or fourth time using it. It's already gone. I already used it up because even though they give you this tiny ass sample, there's actually only like that much in the actual tube that they give you. <sighs> expensive as all hell, but completely works. Now, if you guys can actually see the pictures, if they even make sense to you, I'm so sorry if they're bad, but it shows my expression. It's like right around here. The pictures are taken like right here. It shows my expression lines here. I have like three, I think, that come across. And when I put this on, they're gone. This instantly smooths everything. I put it around here. I put it up here. I mean, it works. It works completely and it works all day. If you have the funds to get this, get this. And if any of you love me, I'm just joking. Don't you dare. 
but it is a product that works that I would save up to get. I mean, Dr. Brand is just amazing. If you guys have not looked into his skincare, into his products, please do. I think I've only tried one thing from him that I didn't like, and it was a CC cream, and I believe I didn't like it because the store actually sold it to me expired, and it was from TJ Maxx. So I think that they actually sold it to me expired because I've heard other people talk about it, and they rave about it. So I'm kind of pissed because I really wanted to try it out. It had like some kind of sapphire complex in it, but no, it was oxidized right out of the bottle. It was liquidy. It was all hell. It was gross, and I gave it a poor review, and I don't think that I should have. I think that I should try to get a bottle that isn't expired and give it a better review because Dr. Brandt is where it's at. It's just expensive as hell. All right, on to some makeup. So I recently got the City Blush. This is a City Colors Blush and I got this from Five Below and I believe it was three or four dollars but it was beautiful. So I wanted to try it out. I don't have a lot from this company and I probably only showed pictures of this on my Instagram. I don't even think I hauled it because I only got this and a couple of other products at the time. Now with this, I can tell you, it's cruelty free for one. The City Colors is cruelty free. Their packaging is thick and really nicely made. I mean, I thought that this was kind of like dollar store brand stuff, which I think that it is. I think they sell City Color at the dollar store, but their packaging ain't like this. This is thick. Like I could chuck this at someone and it wouldn't break. Very, very thick plastic, very thick plastic. So that's a huge plus. I mean, sometimes even higher end stuff isn't this well made. So I love the packaging. The blush itself has, it's massively oversprayed, massively oversprayed. So you think you're getting this shimmery niceness down here, and that's not the case. It actually all rubs off to be like the middle, which is a matte blush. So it goes from like this multicolored shimmer blush to a straight up just like a brighter pinky mauve, and that's what it comes to. But the actual blush itself is so silky. It's so silky, you guys, but it's still pigmented. Even with the overspray gone, usually on a cheaper blush, once the overspray is gone, everything is done. The blush is not pigmented. It sucks. Everything is done. Not the case with this. This is a beautiful blush. I mean, I wouldn't really probably wear it until the summer. I don't even know. Maybe when I have a more pink eye on, that would be good for it. But I would highly recommend getting these, to be honest. I think there's another one or two more. These are really good blushes. And for the price, you just can't beat that. And they're so pretty. They're so, so pretty. I mean, the overspray is really nice too, but you only get to use it once before it's gone. Next, I want to talk about this Tarte cream shadow that I got when I ordered from Tarte. And I told you guys I would talk to you about it in a later one. Well, it's later now. And this is the Shimmering Moss. I still need glasses. Now, the first thing that I can say about this is it's so small. I hate how the opening of this is so small. Like, I don't use brushes when it comes to cream shadows, only my finger, but I have nails. Nobody wants to stick their finger in a small ass hole and get it all into their nails. I don't like that about this shadow. I, and I guess it's just the packaging. I don't like it. But when you actually use the shadow, it is so nice. It's so nice, you guys. It's so beautiful. Look at that. I'm whispering because it's that good. It is gorgeous. I mean, the Tarte Cream Shadows, like, where the hell have you been? And I only saw this one on the site, and I'm wondering if they have more because I will so purchase them. I think this one was the only one that was on sale. It was $11. I would pay more. I would pay more for this in a heartbeat. It is the most beautiful, greeny, moss, golden color. I mean, and I love it like this, but I also... I also love to pair it with this I Love This um, ColourPop shadow that Jean gave me. And what I like to do with it is just kind of plop it down on top of the shadow. And it gives it like this greeny silver color. I mean, it's just so pretty. So if you have like one of those metallic ColourPop shadows and you put it over this, it is so gorgeous. So I absolutely love it. I do. I love that Tarte eyeshadow and I definitely want more of them. They're probably, besides their palettes, those are probably my second favorite thing from Tarte because we know the concealers and the foundations don't seem to work for me. The cream eyeshadows are bomb. They really are, you guys. And the lasting power on these is until you're done with them, pretty much. They don't fade. They don't wear down. They don't smudge. They are where you put them until you're ready to take them off. And the last thing that I want to talk about is something that I received from Jean as well. And this is the Milani Lip Intense Lip Color. Now, I thought this was a gloss. It is not a gloss. It's like... 
it's called Red Extreme. It's 01 Red Extreme. I think that you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Jean, you'll have to let us know. I, I want to get more of these, so please let me know. But this is like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. They are so pigmented. So pigmented and so creamy. And they smell like vanilla. They smell so good. And they last long. They don't feather. I mean, this is really impressive. And I think, I'm pretty sure this was only a dollar. So, I'm so impressed. I'd like everything out of the collection. I don't really care for the packaging because they don't stand up straight. And they don't fit in anything. So, it's really hard to store them. But look at that. That is beautiful. And I don't believe that it's a matte. It's kind of like a semi or demi matte, demi matte, like a demi matte or a semi matte. I'm not really positive. It never really settles. It's more of a cream, but it's so beautiful. It's so pigmented and I want every shade. So if you guys have ever used these, if any of you have ever tried these, please let me know what your thoughts are and where to get them because I want more and I want to try out the Milani mattes, but I've heard some pretty bad things about them. So this is an alternative if you didn't like them because it doesn't really go completely matte, but it's super opaque and it's just a beautiful, beautiful formulation. So I highly recommend checking out the Milani Lip Intense Lip Colors. Bomb. So that is everything that I wanted to talk about in this I Hold It But Did I Like It. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for spending your time here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.